In this particular video, we'll talk about the setup which is required for a web development. So before you start coding, you should be installing at least two things, one a browser and another an editor. Now you can use any browser you want, but I strongly recommend that you use the Google Chrome browser. Similarly, you can use any editor you want. You can even use Notepad. But once again, for web development, the best editor is the Atom editor. Now I have provided you a web development course resources list. Okay. In which I have given the link for Google Chrome browser. Okay. I have also given the link for Atom text editor. So at these two links, you will find the required resources. Now let me talk a little about the Atom editor. Okay. Now I have Atom installed in my computer. So I'll just start Atom. This is the logo for Atom. Just a minute. Okay. Now, once I start with Atom, okay, you will see a window like this. Now, how exactly to use Atom that we'll see in the subsequent videos. Right now, I want to talk about a very useful feature of Atom and that is called packages. In fact, I will say that this Atom editor gains its strength from packages. Now, what exactly is a package? Now, what happens is that Atom allows some third party person to write a code and that code you can use in Atom to enhance the working of Atom. And if you ever write a code to enhance the working of Atom, then that code will be called a package. So what I want is that apart from installing Atom, I also want you to install some packages which will increase the capability of Atom and it will bring convenience to our coding. So these are the packages which I want you to install. Now how to install the package? So it's very simple. Okay. Let's take example of this package emmet, E-M-M-E-T. Okay. What each package does that I'll tell you afterwards. So this is the Atom editor. This is the Atom editor. Okay. Now over here, what you should do is click on, click on Atom go to preferences go to preferences and when you go to preferences there you can go to this install install all right now over here see you see over here search packages so i will type something like e m m e t m it okay now see over here i got the link i got the description for emmet now if you see carefully you will see uninstall over here now, why do you see uninstall? Because I have already installed the emmet package. Okay. So in your case, you will see install. So you click on install and install the package. Okay. Now over here, see you see one tab for packages. I click on it. Okay. Now when you click on it, okay, what will happen is when you click on it, what will happen is see I click on packages and then again, I click on this installed packages. So when I click on install packages, you will see a list of all the packages which you have installed in Atom. Okay. So before we start with our development, I want you to install at least Chrome browser and Atom with all the packages which I have told you. Now there is one more very, very useful tip, very useful advice which I am going to give you. Remember this for your entire life. As long as you are doing coding, it will help you a lot. Now, uh, if you're developing a particular project, okay, and if you get stuck somewhere, I will not be always there to help you. Okay, in fact, you could be in a situation where nobody is going to help you. So what to do? So the best thing is listen to this carefully. Now, whenever you execute, whenever you compile any file of yours, you will get some particular error message. If things go, if things are not working properly, you'll get some particular error message. Okay. And many a times you will not figure out what that error is trying to tell you. You will not sim you will simply not understand what the problem is. So the simplest thing which you can do over here is just head over to Google. Okay, just head over to Google and just type the error message over here. So for example, let's say I write something like insert query, insert query, fail. Okay. You should copy paste the exact error message which you get over there. Now hit the enter key. And when you hit the enter key, you will realize that 
99.99% of the times the first link which you will see over here is the link of the stack overflow i am pretty sure you are aware of this website okay now in this stack overflow when you go to this stack overflow i hope you know how things work over here there will be uh, there are people who post their problems over here okay and then there are some good samaritans who reply to their problems with a solution so whatever query whatever error which you are getting okay i am pretty sure there must be someone else who must be facing the same error in the past he must have put the same error on stack overflow and somebody must have replied to his problem and you will find that reply over here okay so most of the times if you go to stack overflow your problem will get solved if it still does not get solved okay you can come back to me and i'll help you in it